We are getting the house all cleaned and prepped. We're gonna have the pictures taken for our listing within the next week. And then we're also going to be putting it up and listed and have showings come through. So we want the house to look really, really nice and clean. So hopefully we can get as many offers as possible. We're doing deep, deep clean. I'm talking scrubbing baseboards, walls, painting the scuff marks that are around the house to make sure it doesn't look like two little hooligans have lived here the last three years. Huh? We've also been doing a lot with the house in regards to just making it look and be really nice, which is funny and ironic. Hello! <laughs> we're doing all of these projects that you would have want to had while you lived here but you do it at the end when people are going to buy it because you want it really nice when they buy it so we've been doing things like putting rock at the side of the house um it's just been dirt and mud the last three years that we've lived here so we've been putting rock there we made the garden space really nice which is something that we've been working on since this last spring um while we were under quarantine but just finishing it off making everything look really really good and clean simple nice in the way that we we would have liked to have had it so again a little ironic but it's kind of what you do when you want to sell your house make sure you get a good good offer on it yeah is in a current state of absolute cleanliness it is the cleanest probably it's ever been so we are eating breakfast outside having a little picnic on the tramp huh kids have their cocoa we got some oranges and muffins mm -mm -mm -mm. breakfast picnic before we just get out of the house so that way we can keep it clean because we all know that's not gonna happen with these two around and it's official we are listed our home is up for sale. Such a bittersweet feeling. last full week of living in our house so look at you go so taking breaks from packing the kids and I are gonna try and go to a neighborhood park every single day this week just to kind of get in the last of these parks that we have absolutely loved living nearby we are in our neighborhood park our house is in the neighborhood just over there and we have spent hours at this little park huh carl first with adeline when she was a little baby and now carlisle we've loved living like a five minute walk from this little park it's been amazing one of my little favorite memories with this is just a couple days after carlisle was born my mom came out to our house which is about a 30 minute drive from their place came out and um was helping watch adeline so that carlisle the little newborn and i could rest and it was a really nice fall day it was you know the first of November 
I told my mom, I was like, oh, you guys could, you could take Addie to the park. And Adeline at the time was like, almost, she's almost two years old. So pretty much exactly Carlisle's age. So I'm walking down the street leading my mom. My mom's like, wait, where was the park? She like, I wasn't sure where it was, but Adeline led her straight to this little park. It was so cute. So I've definitely always kept a very close eye on the kids when they're in the front. Um, so that way they don't just like walk to this park because that's how close we live. It's been awesome. We love it, huh, Addie? What's one of your favorite things to do at this park? Um, swing on the swing set. We love the swings here. So we're gonna just do a little bit of park tours before we leave. We live by several, several parks, which has just been, again, one of my favorite parts of the area that we've lived in the last three years. Whoa, are you like a monkey? Whoa, that's so cool. Carl, can you show me driving your car? Drive the car. See, vroom, vroom. Whoa, cool tricks, Addie. Let me see. I'm ready now. All right, go on down. What's down? All right. Woohoo, he's such a big girl. Okay, he thinks he's riding the bike when he's walking it. Riding the bike? Mm -hmm. Wait, Mom. Watch where you're going. Do a trick. <laughs> Woo! Good job, Addie. Carl, can you do a somersault? Yeah. Show me a trick, a jump. Oh, yeah. Do a somersault. Woohoo! Wow, good job. You guys ready to take them down? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sanitize those mats, kids. Good job. Oh, look. Wipe it off. We are done with the basement. Woohoo! Good job, kiddos. In the midst of all the craziness with packing, Carlisle fractured his little wrist. Dylan and I were packing up our room a couple Sundays ago and Carlisle was in Adeline's room playing with her and fell off her bed. It was just like this weird random thing, fell off her bed and landed on his wrist just right that it fractured it. It was just a little, we're here at the park waiting for Addie to get her shoes on, um, but it was just right here on his little wrist. It's not bad and he just has to be in the brace for three weeks and then he's done. So shouldn't be too bad and um, he'll feel better soon, huh? Let me see your arm. Ah, good job, buddy. You guys ready to go play in the park? Yeah! Okay, let's go. Are we here? Uh -huh. Woohoo! <laughs> this is one of our favorite parks because it has tons of trails all around it, so it's a great place to come running. And there's also two playground sets, a huge swing set. It's just really, really fun. You like this park, Carl? Uh -huh. Do you like this park, Addie? Looks like it. <laughs> Yay, Carl! Hi. Look at you go. What is this, Addy? A castle. This is your castle? Mm -hmm. Mom, let's go on this bike together. Okay, let's go. Let's you go first. Like Spider Man. Carl, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, we got everybody? Uh -huh. Is everybody on? Uh -huh. We got Carl, uh -huh. Annie, <laughs> Annie, Mommy. And Mommy. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Getting some things packed up. <gasps> Hello, and we're playing hide and seek. I found Carl. <gasps> now where's Addie? What the? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing in the box? I'm hiding. Am I gonna pack you up and take you to the new place? No. No? Are you gonna stay here? No, you're gonna come with us, huh? 
We're working on getting the garage all cleaned up and loaded and packed. Kids are hanging out in the shade. Doing good? Yeah? Keeping cool? We're officially taking our first load to our storage unit. So we are packed up. There's Addie. Say hi, Carl. Hello. Hello. So we've got the van and Dylan's bringing a truckload. Things are getting real. Oh, good job, Betty. You're so strong. All right, there's load one. There we go. Good job, Addy. Just got done taking down Addy's bed and Carlisle's bed. He's going to be in the quarter group again for a couple days before we move to Grandma's house, huh? Just taking a break. Got Carl's crib all down. Addie's bed is all assembled and downstairs. We'll somehow, sometime, get that all put up. There's Carl's room. And just like that, these cute little bedrooms that we have are getting all packed up. You helping us move stuff, bud? Whoa, you're so strong. Okay, take it back that way. Just got a zucchini from the garden. Carl, take it that way. Oh, you're so strong. <laughs> so Carlisle is obsessed with tractors and living where we do. There's tons of construction, so he gets to see tractors all the time. So sometimes we'll just go on drives to watch tractors work. <gasps> you see that, Carl? Say tractor. Wow. There we go. That's the storage unit. We're done. Everything is in way more than we thought we had. Well, at least that I thought we had. Swing set is down. Kiddos are doing good to just play and hang out. Whoa! Final big meal at home. We've got roast, mashed potatoes, and carrots and a little bit of homemade bread. <gasps> what do you think, Carlisle? Good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Hey, Addy. Hey. The kitchen's all getting packed up. Thank you. 